how did you first get into pop? Uh, back in 2004-2005, I spent a stint in New Zealand uh, where my wife and I ended up drinking coffee every single day. And on our return, we realised that our uh, coffee standards were shameful. So uh, that was when I started getting into coffee. I used to visit a local place and one day I was offered a job by them and that's the rest is a bit sort of history, I suppose. And what did you aim to create with this place? This space was created for people to come of any shape um, or form to come and enjoy a great cup of coffee, to relax, re revitalize themselves, escape from their everyday environment and go back recharged. Happy, yeah. And uh, tell us a bit about the decor and what the feel you're going through. Yeah, I went, uh, went for a vintage kind of look, vintage modern vintage look, um, which I like. And uh, we put it together with some modern stuff and some vintage stuff and built a lot of things ourselves. Um, I find it gives it a more relaxed, kind of authentic kind of feel, so that's why we went with it. And then, uh, tell us a little bit about the coffees that you've got here, where they come from, and your machine, and that kind of thing. Our coffee, my coffee is a blend of Ethiopian and uh, Guatemalan. I um, chose those for their characteristics, uh, chocolate and the nuts. Uh, I also do a lot of single origin coffees, specifically for some of my customers. Uh, they range from, right from Africans through to South Americans. Um, yeah, and the machinery I use is specifically Nova Simonelli. I find that they give the best results in the cup. And roast. roasting? Roasting, uh, I keep my roasting down in Cape Town. I go down on a monthly basis and go roast with my guys down there. Um, yeah, that's my secret.